Hey, welcome back again to today's video. Is Shane Dawson about to make a documentary series with Titanic Sinclair and that poppy? Oh my god, holy cracker jacks. What in the, did you know that Repzilla has a Patreon? In the description below. I just, Greg, Jesus, get, call, get my mug. Shane just liked a Titanic Sinclair tweet that's random, but I was disappointed and I thought I'd share that. I said, send it to me. He sure did. He liked it. Oh, what does this mean? Upon closer inspection, you can see. Replying to Titanic Sinclair, he tweets to Poppy and he says, if you and Poppy ever want to do something, let's go. This means, and it probably could happen, a Poppy docuseries. There are many reasons why this could be a possibility, but I'm more interested in what was the community's reaction on this. Very first thing in the comment section says, Shane, please know, do the secret life of Mars Argo because her life really has become a secret. Titanic and Poppy are bad people. Hmm, the next one. No, Shane, please don't. They are bad people. Hmm, the, the, uh, they are exposed for being a-holes to Mars. They are bad people. They are bad people. They are bad people. Shane Dawson, if you've ever uh, listened to your community, now would be the time to do such a thing. It does look and appear that they don't want you to do that. But you should look in Mars Argo's direction. So apparently on March 13th of 2017, he delved into the conspiracy theory behind Poppy. Let's see what he said. That's proof that she's, she's not, not in a cult. About these videos and questioning if she was in which are Illuminati symbols. I mean, I made a video of her and he's, you know, the biggest YouTuber there is. Saying, who the fuck is this girl and what does this mean? Now, I don't know if this is such a good move for Shane Dawson being as they just settled out of a lawsuit where they were accused for some uh, really bad things. And just to look through the comments section of his tweet, you can see people are very much against the idea. Now, this hasn't stopped Shane Dawson from doing what he wants to do before as he went forward with the Jake Paul series. And that ended up to be a pretty successful um docuseries now if he does go into a docuseries with titanic sinclair and that poppy it begs the question will it be a series where she acts normal and she's out of character or will it be one where they it's like more of a theatrical thing and uh she's in character now i would actually be uh very interested in one where it was normal you know you could see the normal day-to-day -day life of titanic sinclair and poppy or we call it mariah Pereira. Like, that would be so interesting to see how they actually are. And I think that would be perfect as it was It was better to see Jake Paul as it, he was naturally. And it gave a lot of other YouTubers a lot to talk about. But I'm really interested in what you think about that. It's pretty obvious what is happening. Now, another thing to look at and think about is what if he did a docuseries from the perspective of Mars Argo, Britney Sheets. Now, I could see where this would even be a big hit because that is still shrouded in mystery. Even when she came out with the lawsuit and exposed Poppy and Titanic Sinclair for these things, and then it sent the world down a rabbit hole, as they kept on committing, uh, we'll, we'll call it uh, miscellaneous internet uh, mishaps, um, to see the perspective from the eyes of Britney Sheets and how this whole thing unfolded, how she saw Poppy and how uh, she saw these things, I think that would be really worth a look at, but you have to ask the question, which one would be the best route for Shane to take? To be honest, I would probably watch both with a bag of popcorn. I would like it to be out around the uh, Halloween because it could be, uh, you know, candy corn, whatever. Because as interesting as this is, there's always something that's more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I wanna know what you think. So we're just go ahead and leave your creative and your interesting responses in the comment box below. Thumbs up, thumbs like this always, brothers and sisters. I will see you in the next video. Now, um, I have Patreon. I unveiled it the other day and I've not really pushed it quite that much, but I am in this video to date right now. 
link is in the description it will be the first link that you come into contact with it is awesome we, it's called a perfect world that's right and it's made it's mainly greg themed let me show you it i'm actually pretty proud of it right now currently i have four patreons this is amazing it says repzilla is creating a perfect world and it's got a video you need to watch that video that video is freaking awesome even if you don't become a patreon watch that video watch it but it, it's really neat because on the side i got all kinds of different things that you can get you know little gifts to give away and my idea behind this is to create like a research and development network to help us solve cases on the internet and bring forth to the light of awareness the things that need to be brought up yes um hmm because i know that you're repping if you're not repping you're great and how do you become a member of the rep squad all you gotta do is subscribe notification turn on be in the comment section every single video because i'm gonna be there greg the cat is gonna be there and the rest of the rep squad community as well and that's just another reason why this channel loves you is that what you want greg you want everybody to join the patreon yeah okay